Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you a mixed media page using all Jane Davenport merchandise today. So I just laid out the paint over pens. These are the mermaid markers. These are her portrait acrylic paints. There are her magic wands. They are colored pencils. And there's her washi tape book. Incredible fountain pen. So I'm taking one of the mermaid markers, and this is a really fun technique with gesso. You can squeeze out drops and get different colors in your gesso. So I used blue bottle and coral colors, a couple drops of each, and I've been trying this out in different color combinations, and it's a really fun way to make a background. And if you don't mix the colors completely, you can get some really neat looking texture, and it just sort of looks really natural and organic in the background. The dyes are very, very vibrant, very deep color, so that's why it only takes a couple of drops to get a really nice tinted page. So now I'm looking through her washi tapes and choosing one. Some of them have sayings, they have paintings, different little shapes. And those are her collage papers. They are serviettes or napkins. And they are actually two ply. She shows this in one of her videos. I was not able to get the back layer off of this one, so I gave up on it. I didn't want to tear the napkin, so I just put down some gel medium. And I went ahead and put it on two ply, but if you can, it works even better if you do the one ply because then the background will show through and that the whiteness will sort of fade away. So I'm pulling out one of her colored pencils and just roughly sketching a face. I didn't have any real plan for this page other than I just wanted to use a combination of her products and I knew I wanted to draw a girl. and. I always kind of look at the first sketch of a face as a jumping off point rather than sort of the final piece. So I had seen a couple of other people, including Jane, do this putting a piece of washi tape over the eyes and then painting over it and I thought it looked really cool, kind of almost futuristic. So I just put one of her flesh tones into the palette there. She has two paints in the flesh tone set that are sort of both ivory and one is deeper than the other, and this is the deeper of those two colors. And usually if they're if you're not painting on a plain white background, you'll see a little bit of whatever is in the background kind of peek through once the paint dries, so that will change up your color a little bit unless you apply more than one coat, which overall I probably ended up applying maybe one to one and a half coats and then I highlighted certain areas and just went over and smoothed the, over some of the areas that looked like they needed more paint. So now I'm using one of her aqua brush markers and these are really fun. And you can get this sort of ghostwriting effect over the tinted gesso. Now it, it looks like it takes away a lot of the color right now. You will see it fade slowly, but it does add like some really cool texture. And now I'm using those paint over pens which go right over the washi. And they're super opaque. And they come with, I believe, four colors and then two whites in different widths, which is really convenient to have a finer tip white and a thicker one. And they definitely pop. They are, as you can see, the white really shows and um, the different colors, you don't have to apply much and you get um, quite a lot of bang for your buck out of those. So I just used her blue bottle mermaid marker there to give her some hair and some little wispies and just going over with a wet paintbrush. So 
So next I'm trying out using a baby wipe to take away some of the color of her dress. And this was interesting. It did add some cool effects, but if you are going to do this, I would kind of go carefully because I did rub away at certain points a little bit too much to where it was going straight down to the paper through the gesso. So definitely use kind of a light to medium hand if you're going to do that. And now I'm just going to start layering with the magic wands and this is something I just really love about mixed media in general is that you can just keep layering colors and adding and lightening or darkening certain areas and just keep playing with it and playing with it until you're satisfied with the page. I think that's one of the most fun aspects of doing mixed media. So I just use a paint over pen there to outline her dress and this is the Ink Credible fountain pen and it has water soluble black ink as you can see, you can write really easily with it. it. It writes very well and comes out even. And I like the kind of unpredictable widths and things that you can get with a fountain pen that don't look quite the same if it were a regular pen. So now I'm just adding some mermaid marker there on the bottom. I believe that's the coral shade. And then I used an aqua brush to kind of pull some of that color up and do like a gradient effect and I was able to tear away one of the serviettes and get that back end off of it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.